What's up adventurers? This week we've been exploring Mount Field National Park and this place has it all. Brew yourself a tea, kick back and let us take you to some of the coolest spots Mount Field has to offer. So here we are on our way into Russell Falls, a great one to let the little ones take a walk. Uh, it's disabled access friendly with a bitumen path the whole way. So let's go in there and have a look. Hey Claire, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? The walk into Russell Falls is also home to some very cool little glowworms. We couldn't help but pay them a visit one night during our stay, but more on that later. With such a variety of attractions all departing from the visitor's centre car park, it's hard to decide between a tall trees or a waterfall walk, but no matter which you choose, you won't be disappointed. During our stay here in the campground at Mount Field National Park, we got the opportunity to make our way up to the ski area multiple times. Each time it felt as if the road had completely transformed, from dry dirt to ice and snow. And we can't forget those wet rainy sections just to stick with the Tasmanian theme. On one of our sunny visits to the top of Mount Mawson, we got the chance to take the Pandani Grove Great Short Walk. Walking through the spectacular Pandani and colourful snow gums, the walk circles Lake Dobson and returns to the car park. Snow still covered the shady parts of the track and added an amazing contrast to the green leaves of the Pandani that littered the area. My, my, look at this. We found some mountain lion tracks. On a separate visit to the top of Mount Mawson, we were greeted with fresh snow and it was a perfect opportunity for Claire's first snowman. Another short walk worth mentioning is Wombat Moor. This narrow boardwalk is packed with information on the first explorers of this area. It also has extensive signage labelling the native vegetation and identifying nearby landmarks. With Claire showing signs she'd had enough for the day, we headed home with plans to find Marriott Falls the next morning. Hey guys, we're here at Marriott Falls. We're gonna head up. It's a rainy and wet day, so we're all geared up, nice and snug and warm. Let's go and see what it's all about. Okay. 
The trail to Marriott Falls follows the Tyena River before making a hard left turn through some ferny glade paddocks and then into the thick scrub. Due to recent rainfall, the track was extremely muddy and even with the makeshift boardwalks, it was hard to avoid getting soaked feet. There's something magical about the roar of a waterfall in the distance. It's like a song getting ever clearer with each obstacle pass as we make our way up the hill. With our minds now clear and the song of the falls growing ever quieter, we planned our evening visit to the friendly glowworms back at Russell Falls. With Claire rugged up, and our torches in hand, we headed up the track to see some glowworms. We attempted some long exposure shots to capture the magic of these glowing dots in the undergrowth of the forest, but it didn't go as planned, so we turned our camera to the moonlit falls. If you've enjoyed the video today, hit like. If you think we missed part of Mount Field that you think's great, let us know in the comments below. But don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on what we get up to next. P.S. If my cracked lens is giving you the shoots, I'm more than happy for you to send me one. Otherwise, you'll have to wait till I can pick one up. <laughs>